work. All right, so to install the software on your machine, there are two things you need to do. One, you need to set up the network for your machine. So we'll go straight to setting up the, the network. Why we need to set up the network is uh, if your machine uses an RJ45, you have to use an RJ45 is a network cable. Okay. So uh, this is an RJ45, for instance. But if your if your machine uses a USB uh, cable to connect from your laptop to your machine, uh, for for a large format machine, then you may not follow this route. But if you have to connect a network cable to your machine and then to the computer, then you are going to need this step. All right. So the first and foremost, we have to set up the network. To set up network, a couple of things you can do. You can come to so you come to network and internet settings. So I right click on here and then I go to network and internet settings. I click on that. Then I would come to ethernet and I would uh, click on that. Uh, you are not going to have Windows 7 do all of this for you. Or oh, wait, up. let's just, let's just don't go to trial. Let's just come here and then we'll type network. So we'll come to the search bar here and then we'll type <coughs> network and then we'll click on view networks and connection when we say uh, view network and connection it's going to bring out this page you can maximize the page by clicking on this place there and when you do that you then come to ethernet and you see ethernet and wi-fi currently my machine my laptop is connected to my airtel wi-fi uh, so but then it also has uh, an opportunity to connect with an ethernet cable so you right click on ethernet because what we are trying to do is a wired connection if it was a wireless connection they would use this but your machine does not connect via wireless your machine connects with a wire so you click on ethernet then you right click on ethernet and then come to properties when you open properties you can, will then go to uh, internet protocol version 4. There are two types of internet pro protocol versions here. There's version 4 and there's this version 6. We're very concerned about version 4. So you right click on version 4 and then or you click on version 4 and then you press properties. When you press properties, then it's going to show you this page. For your sake, I'm just going to X this out and then I'm going to start it all over again. Now, to know what exactly you're supposed to put here, you need to do something else. Uh, your machine will come with a set of installation softwares. One would be main top, the other one would be A tools or what you call the alignment tools. Uh, so we'll go to the alignment tools. I have it here on my system in a folder I call Brownie. I will leave a link to this folder on my Google Drive so that you guys can just have access to that. Now, if you click, uh, this is it. So we're going to go to alignment tool and then we'll just pop that up. So this is the alignment tool. For your machine, it definitely may be different, but this is just an example. So you right click on this and then you run it as administrator and then you click on yes when it gives you this uh, prompt. Then you click on yes. Now, once you do that, then this, I think it's the ugliest software ever made. Ugliest, but you see this interface right in front of you. We don't really need to press connect or anything like that. So what we're really concerned about is these values here. Now, look at this number here says 196.12.0.25 and it says this is printer. And then this one says local 196.12.0.188. Good. You see these two numbers? Those are the numbers you really need in your network setup. This place where it says printer is going to be on the default gateway and then this place is called local that's going to be the first one i'll show you in a minute so when we bring out this pane now uh we can minimize this we may not be able to minimize that so now where it says ip address that's where you put the values on this section here called local so where it says uh ip address that is exp that is where the system ip address is going to be so if you come here, this is the system IP address called local. So that's 196.12.0.188. So you come here, you press 
196.188. We can pop that open again so that we can be sure 196.12.0.188. So you see, I made a mistake. So it's supposed to be 196.12.0.188. So we're done with that. Now, the next line is the subnet mask. If you come here, the subnet mask is not given. But the good thing is, when you click on the second page, the subnet mask will be supplied automatically. So then we're left with the third one. Now, this here called default gateway, that is what is called printer here. So you say 196.12.0 and then dot 25. So you see the first three numbers are the same. The second, la the last numbers are only different. So 196.12.0.25. So that is it. So once you do that, you can then press OK. So that we've done the network setup and you can now close this uh, window here. You can close it.